How y'all doing? This is True Authority from True Life Fire Correction Deliverance Ministries. Coming to you with a word of the Lord. I know my head looking crazy right now because I can't find nobody that ain't got paid by Valencia Brown or I need to find them to help me out. I mean, to keep me from getting help, you know what I'm saying? So, not to say, not, not that I'm depending on them, but they're depending on something else, you know what I'm saying? They don't want, no, they don't want God, none of that. Now, anyway, anyway, I ain't talking about that. I'm saying, my hair messed up, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to get it braided, but it's all good because I get my hair braided everywhere I go. But check this out. The Lord told me uh, day before yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, day before yesterday, night before last. I was trying to get to a hotel, and I couldn't get to the hotel because nobody wanted to help me because a certain person paid off some folk to keep me from getting to the hotel because they was at the hotel getting jumped off. You know what I'm talking about? Like a, like a, uh, like a, uh, I don't know, like a uh, frat party or something. You know what I'm saying? So I was uh, walking a long time. I walked from Hollandale Beach Boulevard all the way to West Park, Florida, trying to get to one hotel that nobody wanted to help me get to. Nobody wanted to help me get to. Even the buses had stopped, put me off. <laughs> so I stayed outside all night long, crying. I said, bump, they ain't finna cry no more. I started praying. The minute I started praying, thunder and light. I mean, with not thunder. With no thunder. Just lightning striking everywhere. When they saw that, they saw me operating in the anointing in the spirit. Boogers start taking off, riding fast. One dude got out of the car like he wanted to beat me with a pole till somebody said, hey, you better leave him alone. And he drove out. I ain't gonna say yeah, I ain't gonna say why, but he drove off and didn't want to follow me no more. Then I walked around to a gas station, find me some, find me a brand new pair of shoes. Hey, okay, cool. Cause them shoes I had had holes in them, and my feet was hurting while I was walking. So, but yeah, I praise God for them shoes. You know what I'm saying? Um, humility is better than pride any day. Remember that. So check this out. I walk up on them. I walk up on a, a bar, like a, a some type of convenience store, and I seen Fetty first in Hollandale. He was in the Jeep, way in the parking, in the Winn-Dixie parking lot where Valencia loved to go. And I seen, I seen a, a nigga in the, I'm looking at, I'm like, that's, that's, I mean, the Holy Spirit, I'm just like looking around. First I went to the gentleman's club. I knew she was over there, because that's what she always do. She been doing it. Another girl told me that in 2019. She be going to the gentleman's club. Her name is Antoisha. She stay out here somewhere. One of her friends she went to high school with. She told me, a, 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 her cousin told her, she told her about Valencia at this funeral. Yeah, yeah, I know Valencia. That's the biggest hole in the world. I said, wow. So then, right, I look over there and I see, I see, I said, Lord, said, that's Fetty right there in Valencia. I see head going up and down in the car, in his lap. As soon as I start hollering, I said, Valencia. And he said, oh, look. She put her head down. They drove off. I walked off. I said, oh, okay. I said, if I'm paranoid, why the fuck that car rode over there wasn't Valencia? And I'm way across the street at the gas station, at the bus stop. Yep, the stuff makes sense. Okay, so then I'm, I'm walking, I'm walking. I walk up the street. I walk for miles. I just walk and walk. I ain't see them no more. I stopped somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Took a break. Took, took my shoes off. Somebody gave me some free food at Checkers. Kept walking. Kept walking, kept walking, kept walking. I kept walking, I kept walking. I'm walking, walking. Oh, my God, I'm walking. <sighs> so I'm walking and walking and walking and walking. Steady goddamn walking. Excuse me, Lord. So I'm walking and walking and walking and walking and walking. And I walk from Georgia to Charlotte. I'm just walking, 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 walking. I get to, uh, where, where, I, where I went to? Uh, I, yeah, I saw this convenience store. And I got to Hollywood. Or well, West Park. Well, I, somewhere in Hollywood, I don't know. But I got to this gas station. And it was, it was... A car, that car pulled up and Valencia was in the car with him. And I know, I know it was him because when I said, hey Valencia, I heard Fetty go, fuck! <laughs> Everybody that was around the car ran. Mm. So then, I'm, I, you know, I started rubbing my set. I mean, really got scared. Drove off. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm still paranoid, though. Right? I need medicine because your ass over there with a dick in your mouth, right? I got you. So then, you know, I, I drove off. I made a little video, did Rock Ken's song, put on um, 007 in front of the news station. Really, the gas station right, right across the street from the news station, right down the street. So then, <laughs> make it so bad, you know, I left. 
kept walking. And no, no, before I left, I sat there. I started praying. I said, God, kill everybody that's sleeping with my wife right now. Kill them, kill them, kill them. I just went in prayer, went in warfare. And God said, he going to do it. He said, somebody going to drop dead in a little while for sleeping with Valencia. He said, you're going to hear about it all over the news. Somebody going to drop dead while they sleeping with Valencia or while she doing whatever she doing that day, whoever. They're going to drop dead right then and now. And he told me this last, oh, was it last night? Yeah, last night. So I, I said, okay, so why, in the midst of me praying, I, I said, Lord, you want me, I, I, I'm going in warfare. I said, Lord, if it's fed in that car, Lord, kill him, Lord, kill him, Lord. And he said, no, don't, he said, don't even pray for him no more. I said, what you mean? He said, I'm done with him. I took my hand off of him. I don't pray for him no more. I said, wow. I said, Lord, am I hearing you? He said, well, I do not pray for him no more. I'm done. I said, yes, Lord. <laughs> I got through praying. I, 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 I went in and prayed that God kill him. No. I ended up praying. Then he got scared, drove off slowly but surely, and left. I went on about my motherfucking business. Because I'm going to tell you like this, when I was walking, I was not walking looking for them. I was walking trying to get to the damn hotel. Just happened to be everywhere I go, there she go. I don't understand the dumbass shit you got going on, Valencia, but you better stop the damn shit for somebody to stop you. You hear what I'm talking about? I don't give a fuck what you, I don't care about this dumbass Illuminati shit. Bitch, get this shit fuck away from me, man. You feel like you following my ass around, lying, lying to other folks, I'm stalking you. Bitch, I done already caught your ass. They make it so bad now. <laughs> it wasn't last night. It was, was it last night? No, the night before last. Yeah, it, it had to be the night before last. No, no, it wasn't the night before last. No. It, I forgot when it was. I just know it was the day before yesterday. Oh, yesterday. One or two days. I'm so tired, man. I forgot. I ain't delusion. I'm just tired. <laughs> I went to the Denny's on Hollandale Beach Boulevard to eat. She stayed in line, texting me, telling my sister at the third block. I said, look, I wasn't stalking you. I was just trying to catch you because I just wanted closure because your ass kept keep lying. If your ex-husband said you don't never tell the truth. I got that on YouTube. Conversation you would never want me or him to have. Trying to make it look like he was he was bad, you know, this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. Until I talked to him, everything I found out was a damn lie. Same shit I'm going through, he went damn through. He left your ass like I left your ass. You, you dumb as fuck, boy. I'm talking about you extra stupid. Ex, extra. You extra. Excuse. I'm not hearing these screeks while you stupid. Extra. You know what I'm saying? So... I, you know, I'm at, the, I'm at the Denny's eating. You texting me, right? Think, you know, I'm saying, I know you lying. I'm telling you, I know you lying. You telling me I'm delusional. I need some mental help. Bitch, you the one wrote a whole letter saying ain't shit wrong in my mind. Stop damn lying to me, bitch. You done wrote a whole fucking letter. I done posted on YouTube. Everybody see the fucking letter. You telling folk I'm mentally ill with your retarded lame ass. You done told the same folk. There ain't shit wrong with me. You a stupid bitch. You can't never keep a good, tell a good lie. So, as I'm texting you, guess who pull up to the light next to me? You in you know, somebody else's car. You on the phone talking. Don't think I'm, look, I'm looking dead at you. Then when you look at me, you drop your head and drive off. So, I just text you. I say, I just saw you. Stop fucking playing with me. You had nothing else to say. No more texts after that. I, and you still ain't blocked me. On that same number, you unblocked me on. Well, I've been calling. That you can't answer no more. Why? Because you know I'm telling the motherfucking truth and I ain't never did shit to your ass. So, I'm going to let that be. I know I cuss, but I'm venting. I'm letting it all go. I'm, I'm hurt. And God ain't mad at me for making this video and cussing and all that. I, don't, I ain't no cussing preacher. I'm damn hurt. You fucking my ear. I'm talking about you beating my ass. What the fuck am I supposed to do? You see them be like a church boy or some shit? Don't say shit. It's your whack ass, man. You, you lame as fuck. And what, man, what your kids think about you right now, man? How the fuck you teaching them morals and shit and you out here immoral? You sleeping with everybody. I'm talking about your family members, my family members. All kind of crazy, dumb ass shit, man. Kids, teenagers. Then you go to jail, sleep with every inmate in the jail. Gwinnett County. You think I ain't know this? That's why you smiling at the, at, at the guard. I'm trying to talk to you behind the window. Looking out the window, looking out the door, smiling at him. Bitch, you nasty, crazy as fuck, boy. You have no brains at all, man. You clueless. 
But yo, then, you know what I'm saying? Right when I saw that, I just started crying. I said, man, it, that's, that's fucking sick. You talking about you going to straight tell a bold-faced lie. I'm sitting there looking dead at you while you texting me. I'm looking dead at your ass. And then you make it so bad, you keep coming from behind Wendy. I mean, Denny's. Now, who the fuck stay back there? Who the fuck stay back there? The second time I seen you rope, you don't even know where I'm at. I'm looking dead at you, but you can't even see me. You can't see me no more. The second time you came out, you rolled past. You you knew that was me then. You know, like, stop playing, man. Look, I just want to release this video and let you know heaven is looking out for me. He's looking out for, he's looking at you. God is looking at you. God looking dead at you. You think don't nobody see you. You think God gonna forgive you? No, God looking at you like you pushing me, Valencia. I'm showing you mercy. I'm showing you grace. You praying, repenting. I forgive you. You still my daughter, but I'm I'm you you pushing me, Valencia. I'm slow to anger, slow to wrath. I'm slow. I ain't like Rod. Like Rod and like a lot of these other people right here walk up in the store and shoot up everybody because he pissed off. He'll go pray about it. The me will run to me. Like me, I'm slow to anger. He's slow to kill because he don't want to kill. He come to me and I kill for him. And no, he ain't talking to third person. It's just words I done gave him. But you think he crazy. If he crazy, Valencia, don't go to church and sing about me no more. Do not preach about me no more. Do not open the Bible and read about me no more. Don't even say my name, Yeshua, or nothing. You don't even know me. Because you ain't going to run around and make my son look like a retard while preaching about me, who's in him, as if I'm not with him. I've seen everything you've been doing when he tried to kill him when you was in the apartment, try to poison his food, praying against him while he's sleeping, he wake up blood next to his pillow. You praying against him now, working voodoo now, sleep with every church nigga you go with. You don't care nothing about Rod, and you gonna 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 call the police on him when well, he ain't been doing nothing but praying for you. Don't push me, Valencia. That breath you breathing. You must have forgot about that song that I gave to a certain somebody in the gospel industry that you love to sing. Yahweh? Oh, the Lord said sing a certain part of that song so you can understand what he's talking about. Every time we, we breathe, we say your name. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Okay, Valencia, you pushing me. That's my breath. You breathing. I can snatch it from you because you don't own nothing. You pushing me, Valencia. That's my son you playing with. He don't pray to bricks. He pray to me. And if you keep pushing me, Valencia, I, the Lord, says Yahweh, will come upon you and destroy you. Said the God of Israel, Isaac and Jacob, Jehovah. Don't push me.